it's me Louise welcome to my channel today we're gonna be doing a video on my unpopular opinions these opinions have to do with any fandom that I've posted about anything is fair game it could be Melanie Martinez Bates Motel the Beatles and even Jacksepticeye as long as I've posted about it it counts please remember that these are strictly my opinion no hate is intended. I love each and every one of these fandoms and people equally. And I'm curious to know what your unpopular opinions are. And if you agree with me, please feel free to discuss down below. Now, let's begin. Season 2 of Bates Motel is the worst. And honestly, the show would have been better if it was just cut completely. I say this because unlike seasons 1, 3, four and five season two doesn't really dig deep into the relationship of norma and norman it's just kind of the bypass and town drama with the drugs and stuff and it's really boring and fillerish to me if that makes sense i mean it's okay like it's not like terrible but like compared to everything else in the show season two was really unnecessary the zachary shelby plotline was really stupid I understand that the writers wanted to show how Norma is attracted to abusers, just like her ex Sam Bates, but the sex traffic thing and like pulling out a gun on everybody, like come on man, that was just way too far. I mean, I don't know, like it doesn't seem realistic to me, and like it kind of seems like the writers are just trying to see what they can get away with. That's kind of what it came off as, and I think season one would have been better if they just scrapped it or rewrote it. The character Cody Brennan is Walmart brand Bradley Martin. Enough said. Chick Hogan is honestly kind of forgettable and, like, really unnecessary to the plot. Dylan and or Emma should have represented the author Robert Block because they were there for everything that went down at the base motel. Nobody can tell the story better than them. And I find, honestly, adding the character Chick to represent the author kind of disrespectful. I honestly wish the writers of Bates Motel would have done more to show how scary and intimidating Mother was. Yeah, they did that jump scare kind of haunting thing in the season 5 premiere, but that's about it, really. And they should have done way more. The music used during the shower scene was fucking horrible. Honestly, what the hell was that? It's supposed to be creepy, right? I mean, the shower scene in Psycho is one of the most iconic horror deaths in cinema history. You know, that music is iconic, it's legendary. And then they put in some weird ass country stuff. No offense if you like country, but country music is not something you play during a murder scene. I do not ship Sean and Leah romantically. However, I do ship Sean and Claire romantically. The writers did a horrible job explaining why exactly Sean was even interested in Carly anyway. Like, the whole time, he seemed uncomfortable, sad, scared. Like, any negative emotion you can think of, I felt in him. It kind of came across like she was just a little pawn to, like, put some tension in between him and Leah, and that's kind of fucked up, in my opinion. Carly deserved way better. Instead of killing Melinda's off, they should have made it a plot where he gets moved to another hospital to work. Jack Septicai does not look healthy when his hair is really long. He looks better like this. Jack Septicai's content was better before PMA was a thing. I do not like him with Gab Smolders. However, this does not mean I want him back with Wishu. I'm over that. The best Jacksepticeye song is probably What Is My Life. And if you've never heard it, this is what it is. Can you see me? No lights around. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. You're so light, but your battery might die. I am beyond words. And I don't know why. God! Could you deactivate? Deactivate! My heart made of stone. The stone! 
What is my life? Oh, am I doing this right? Oh, I just realized that I might not know what the hell is going on. Fool me once, fool me twice. The character Antisepticeye was a really awesome idea for Halloween, but after that, it's kind of dumb. And the other egos, don't even get me started. And before you ask, my favorite is Chase. I find the meme time song, the cure for sadness song or whatever it is, highly disrespectful to those with depression. Paul McCartney's best solo song is probably Temporary Secretary because it encapsulates everything about his personality, like the random side, and it's just awesome. <laughs> is Melanie's best song on the album Cry Baby. Teddy Bear is the best Cry Baby extra song. Recess should have been the K-12 credits song and in the place of the recess scene, Fire Drill. In the film A Hard Day's Night, the whole um, plot line with Paul's grandfather should have stayed a one-time gag and not plot relevant. And lastly, Melanie's voice does not mesh well with raps. I don't care if it's Tara Wack, I don't care who it is. She just does not sound good with rap, I'm sorry. Well, that's all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please remember, when you're talking about unpopular opinions, that it's just opinions. No hate is intended, and everyone is valid. And, um... Yeah, just be civil and um, let me know what you thought. What did you agree with? What didn't you agree with? What shouldn't have I um, said, you know? But remember, just be nice and um, yeah, stay sugary sweet. Pacify the like button, guys.